First of all, tell us why is it that your party uh, is so critical uh, of uh, Erdogan's campaign in the Afrin region? Uh, Afrin is a diverse safe haven which has uh, managed to stay out of this Syrian civil war fire. And uh, in Afrin, not only the Kurds, the Arabs, Armenians, Assyrians, Christians, Azidis, everyone is, has managed to uh, establish a di diverse safe haven. And why are we attacking to Afrin? And uh, no attack has been come from, from Afrin to Turkey, even not, not a stone. But unfortunately, Turkey is um, blaming the YPG supporters and uh, Afrin, uh, the people who are living Afrin, as a threat. Afrin is a, not a threat. And uh, we have to uh, think about a democratic, if we uh, want to think about uh, democratic Syria, we need safe havens like Afrin. But we, we, we don't need to attack to Afrin. That is why we are criticizing our, our government. Well, Erdogan would say the, the YPG there are affiliated with the PKK, which are a terrorist organization. How do you respond to, to that no, claim? Pe people are trying to you know, uh, keep their houses. Turkey is attacking to Afrin. That is the problem. And no, no threat has been come to Turkey from Afrin. But, uh, and they are t trying to save their houses. And, and the people, not only the Kurds, the Armenians, Assyrians, the Arabs are there. And so ma many refugees have moved to Afrin in the Syrian civil war. The, uh, Afrin's population was about 300,000. Now it is about 800,000 people are staying in there in safe havens. So why are we attacking to Afrin? That is the biggest problem. We have to think about it. And moreover, Afrin is a diverse safe haven which supports uh, gender equality and a diverse heaven. That is the model we need to support in the Middle East, Syria and Turkey. That is what we are uh, supporting Afrin's autonomy and uh, people in Afrin. Uh, we need to stop this war and unfortunately, uh, Erdogan is attacking on the people who, are, who says we need uh, you know, to keep uh, the, the peace and democratization, and he's detaining so many people in Turkey who support the peace. This is the biggest problem, so we need to um, show, show our, our solidarity to the people and to the system which supports uh, plurality and diversity. What's your view of what the United States is doing uh, for the moment? Uh, they, of course, had supported the Kurds in Syria in their fight against the Islamic State. Now it seems they've slightly distanced themselves from, from the Kurds. Do you feel like uh, Kurds in the region are being abandoned by the United States? It's not about, only about the Kurds. The Kurds are suffering, Arabs are suffering, Christians are suffering in Syria, and it's a big game of the big powers. We need to, all the region's peoples have to come together, the Kurds, Turks, and the Arabs, to establish the safe havens, have to live together, to manage to live together. This is not, not this is, uh, we are not uh, trying to do that and the big powers are playing their games. The Russians and the Americans are playing their games and the Kurds and the Arabs and the, all the people are th there are suffering. This is the biggest problem. So we are trying to uh, convince our government to make a way with the Kurds and the Arabs. But the Turkish government is b behaving like a Turkish nationalist and radical Islamist. This is the biggest problem. We need to engage with the Kurdish people, Arab people, Christians, and establish safe havens. We, that is what we are offering the People's Democratic Party and me as, a, as my party. This is what we are offering for the region, for Turkey and for Syria. And what about what is happening uh, in terms of the crackdown inside Turkey? Uh, your party, the HDP, uh, several, uh, several people within it have been detained. At least 300 people across Turkey have been uh, detained. What worries you most about how dissent is being silenced now you in, know in Turkey? They, they want to send, we don't want war, no to war. That is what they said on the Twitter or social media. That is why they are detained. So uh, due to the, you know, uh, uh, the law, international law, to support war is a crime. To support peace is not a crime. But unfortunately, Erdogan is detaining the ones who says no to war. Well, I mean, Erdogan would say he would respond to that and say the, the your, your party is the political wing of the PKK. How do you respond to those uh, no, how allegations? Come? I, I'm an Armenian. There are Turks in my party, Kurds, Arabs and everyone. And we establish our party to establish democracy in Turkey. How come Turkey, uh, HTP can be a you know, wing of the PKK? To, uh, P, uh, HTP offers democracy and wants to establish democracy in Turkey. And me as an Armenian, 
have big, big fears uh, um, because 100 years ago, the same thing happened for the Armenians. And it ended with the Armenian genocide. We had the demand as Armenians. Now the Kurds have the same demands. And unfortunately, the government doesn't have any response to those demands and only oppressing all those demands and saying, no, we, don't, we are not going to be a democracy. This is the Turks land. Uh, whether you want it or not, you have to stay silent. People doesn't want to stay silent. People want equality, democracy and peace in Turkey. This is what we offer for Turkey. And it does seem now that uh, freedom of expression in Turkey is getting worse since the, yes, uh, the, since the failed coup. How do you challenge that and what, what can be done? You know, um, Tur Turkey was a candidate country for the EU and we could speak everything in Turkey. I mean, genocide, Kurdish demands, e gender equality, every kind of demands can be spoken in Turkey, could be spoken. But nowadays, uh, whatever Erdogan says well, is a rule, unfortunate, and whoever opposes to that is a traitor. That is the biggest problem. There is no freedom of speech and whoever just opposes to Erdogan either is in, uh, is in jail or will be, a, be in a big trouble. That is the biggest trouble. So the European countries has to support the Turkish democracy. This is, the, this is what the European countries should do and support the ones who support democracy in Turkey. Garapayan, thank you so thank much you. for your time. Garapayan is a Turkish member of parliament for the pro-Kurdish HDP party talking to us on the programme this afternoon.